Hello and welcome to Radiant Resilience. Did you know that every time we have a heel strike where your heel hits a hard surface, the floor, that that sends a signal to our brain and our body to maintain and build bone, especially in our lower extremities. So from our legs up all the way even into the hip joint themselves. So uh, there's something that you can do to kind of mimic that either from a standing position or from a chair if um, you're unable to do this in a standing position for whatever reason. Um, you know your body. I'm going to um, start in the easiest way and then make it a little bit more um, challenging. I'm going to gradually work it up. You know if you have um, any sort of uh, fracture risk and what is safe for you. So if you are high fracture risk, you might want to go with the softer version. And if you're able to go more challenging, of course, do that as well. So we'll start seated. And basically all you have to do is lift your heels up and then let them drop heavy into the floor. You can probably hear that pounding. That's what you want. You want that pounding in the heel. So you can just do it like this. You can create a little extra challenge by leaning into your thighs to create a little more weight as the heels drop. You can also vary the rhythm or the uh, frequency. You can go a little faster. That gets your heart rate going a little bit more and it also helps get the circulation going as well as moving the lymphatics from the legs. All right, so that's one way you can do it from a seated position. You can also do it in a standing position. Now, if you're feeling like you, your balance is a little off, make sure you have something in front of you to hold on to so that you're staying safe. And you also want to make sure you're not locking your knees. You want to keep a little bend in the knees. You want to keep your core engaged as well as your posture nice and upright. And then you're just going to lift up and drop your heels down. Lift and lower, lift and drop. Same thing here, you can make this a little faster. Makes you work a little more, makes your heart work a little bit more. You can also amp this up a little bit by creating more of a jump. So remember I said you should know what your fracture risk is. If this is safe for you, you could go, you could almost like a jump, but your toes stay on the floor. So you're not totally lifting off the floor. And then the final thing would be to actually do a jump. And that's it. You want to aim for about 100 a day if you're going to be working on this. So you could break it up like 30 seconds a couple times a day. And uh, let me know how this is for you. If you find it helpful, make sure you hit the like button. If you have any questions or uh, requests for future videos, Put those in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.